hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode here on the Hermitcraft server with me, ZF. Hello, hope you're doing okay today. Um, we are going to be doing a little bit of bits and bobs today, all over the place, all over the cave of contraptions here. We're going to finish it. We're going to complete the cave of contraptions. I lied. That's not true. We're going to do just some stuff. <laughs> um, but first, uh, Tango and I did a live stream where we went, ow, to the end. Um, I did, I've been to the end a couple of times and failed my mission to find Elytra. But this time round, we found all of this loot. Goody, goody, goodies. And all of these wings and shells, and I could not be happier. Um, we've got tons of stuff now. I don't think we ever need to go back. Look at this. This is like three... That's 200 odd shulker boxes. That's a lot of shulker boxes. That's so much storage. I don't think we'll ever need any more. We'll never go back. Job done. Mission complete. <laughs> um, so yes, we, we did that. Make sure you go check out uh, twitch.tv slash zfplays if you want to catch the live streams in the future. Um, but yeah, first things first. I want to try and tackle... Um, a little problem that I had up here, a little ugly kind of thing, right? So, because we've got this edge bit going over here, and we've got these magical little um, waterlogged stairs that I, I really like the look of, um, but to get them to be waterlogged and not just, like, flow out everywhere, like water tends to do, um, you need this little gap back here, this little too high air gap, well, water gap, I guess, it's not really air anymore, uh, but you need that so that it flows here and not out this side, right? So we're just kind of left with this, so I kind of started trying to like cover it all up, put slabs all over it and things like that. Um, I, I don't know why, originally I put um, trap doors there just because they were kind of a little bit slimline, um, they give it a little bit more texture, it's not just boring stone the whole way through, and that in itself, fixing that very problem, gave me a little bit of an idea, because look, too, too high, too high space, too high air gap. What can fit in one of those? Firstly, maybe. Ow. But secondly, our friends, not you, well, you, yes, you, but not in that position. Um, the armor stand, the ar, the, the armor stand can. Yes, perfect. And guess what an armor stand can do? It can stand arms. That's weird, isn't it? It hasn't got any arms, and yet it's called an arm stand. Kind of a stupid name, really. So all that loot that we got from um, the end, boom, we can now actually store somewhere. And if this thing was down in that thing, we could just store it hidden and out the way. Just thinking about it, this thing had... Okay, Curse of Binding doesn't seem to uh, care if it's on an armor stand. Fair enough. Okay, armor stand, you win this round. You win. One nil. Ha! Huh. Look at me! Oh! I can do a thing and it hurts! It's wearing thorns. Look how far I can fling it. This never used to be a thing before. I think I've just invented a new game. It's called, um, fling, fling the armor stand. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, it hurts though, but it's cool though. Ow. Oh, it's going to kill me. What would happen if I died? <laughs> oh dear. That's an embarrassing one to do. <laughs> Um, yes. Anyway, enough messing around. Um, we've just learned a new feature that I never knew existed, which definitely is going to have some kind of crazy fun use. Where's my shovel? Man, I exploded quite a lot. I had sticks, apparently, too. Anything fooling you? Anything fooling? No, you're all working fine. The magic puddle does not deal kindly with, uh, <laughs> with junk being thrown in it. Um, oh, ah, ha. Ah, wait, how do I undress you now? Oh, without you injuring me. Uh, like that. Now I can destroy you as per usual. Anyway, so, right, yes. We are going to have armor stands down in each of these um, with clothing on. But then, of course, how on earth are we going to get the clothing on and off of them easily when they're down in a hole? Well, that's where redstone has to come into play. Where's Where am I on my, my face? Oosh! There they go. There's my little armless buddies. Yes! Okay, so that happens. Um, next... All we need to do is make it so that um, the flap doors trap open the other way around. Reverse that. When we step on it... Oops. Wait, what happened? <laughs> I kind of slipped. Slippery when wet and when dry, apparently. Haja. A boom. Yes, so we need to now make it so that these things flap open, but then I want them to close again. See, Let's see if I can do it manually. So we want it to go up, but then neither land like that. So instead of going back down the hole, it lands back on the surface 
and then whenever we want to uh, reset it again, hopefully we can re-step on that to make it flat back, closed, dropping back down. That's the plan. That's the redstone so far. Let me get the flapstone in. So, unfortunately, to make this work, I'm having to dig out these two top sea lanterns that were behind the chests. Oh, I want that back. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, I can have it back. Wait. Uh, there we go. Had to jump. Um, and then we also... Let's put some stuff there, stuff there, uh, like that. We also have to buff this up a little bit. It can't be just a slab like that. It has to be a double slab. I've run out. Like so, which isn't ideal. Um, oh, that one could have stayed a lantern, actually. Uh, never mind. So now those torches there go into this block, which has another torch on that you just saw, see me replace the sea lanterns with, um, which goes into these blocks here, which is kind of powering the trapdoors. So technically, it flipping works. Oh, yeah. And if we step on it again, bye-bye armor stands. This is perfect. This is beautiful. Got to make sure it's waterproof because I've taken the water out at the moment um, that's going to be on those stairs there. So yeah, already actually at the minute here, this ain't going to work. We're going to need a block right here. Otherwise, the water is just going to trickle straight down and break everything. But it can't be a solid block because there's a torch there that will power it. There's dust. That... Okay, right. We've got to get a sort of like glass, I guess. Glass or something like that right here. In fact, I think my glass chest is right here. Look at this. Perfect. Boom, glass. Uh, boom, glass. And boom, glass. That should now be waterproof. Okay, here we go. Fingers crossed. Place. Is everything okay? Yes? Good. I can steal some water from here. Sorry, Magic Puddle. You, I love you, but hang on. Right now, we'll, we'll spend time li together later, okay? Right now, I'm just, I just need to, something quick and easy. Um, okay, now we go around and see all of our redstone be washed away. No, it's perfect. Okay, does it still work? Out they come. Oh, that was quite cool. They didn't jump as high as normal. What's wrong with you, lads? <laughs> you okay? Um, and then we drop them back down again. Ash bloom. Except no, that doesn't work. Why doesn't that work? Uh oh, I think they're now stood on the ledge. Yeah, look, this water has pushed them so far sideways that they're now on the ledge. We need like something here in front of it. Good old thick carpet. I can't even place it because you're in the way. Thick carpet technically. Can we see me go up a block? Barely, but yes, uh, carpet does have a hitbox. I'm hoping this is enough. It barely looks like they uh they leave the edge at all. Um, let's put them all back. I guess straight down the hole into there, like so. And... Boop. Okay, they come out correctly. Have you moved forward a bit? You look a little bit like you're teetering. Oh dear, okay. And then back down again. Ah, no! Have they still gone forwards? No! You just did a little hop, skip and a jump. Is that because of the water? Why you do jumpy? <laughs> You're not that excited to go back in, surely? Well, apparently you are. Um, okay, I might try and run it, play around with timings then to leave the trapdoors open uh, longer. But the trouble is, look, they only open for a split second and they need to close that quickly anyway. Hmm, problems. Right, does a button make you fall back down? Oh, yeah. It just stays open long enough for you to do a little hop, skip and a jump and then still go down. Okay, wonderful. Well, that's what we'll do then. We'll, um, we can cover this all back up. We can reveal all of our armor stands. We can deal with all the armoring, clothing, undressing, redressing. And then when we're done with you, we can just go, yeah, get out of here. Be gone. And we can show some of them and hide some of them and all sorts of things. And if, if one of them's hidden and then we want to reveal it again, we can still just press that and they all get revealed. It's perfect. I love it. <laughs> There it is, another contraption in the bag, the water closet. What a fantastic name, I'm very happy about that. It's my closet, right? And it's got water in it, so that's why I named it that, not for any other reason at all. Yeah, look at him, look at him. Oh, you are so cool. I feel like I'm in like Batman. I'm a Batman, I'm Batman. Oh, in my cave and everything, we've got the little uh, armor stand book here that allows us to do some cool poses and give them arms and things like that. But look at you, you're kitted out, you're wet, you're doing a little strut. You look like you you really need a poo and you're trying to hold it in with a shovel. Fair enough. You, oh, you, you, you're all shielded up and ready to go. Oh, and also the benefit of this is we have another three, another three, and 
another three slots as well. We don't have to do them to all of them, but nine different armors. That could be pretty cool. We could have like an armor for going end raiding. We could have an armor specifically for explosion based times with blast protection. We could have a spider fighting armor outfit. We could have a swimming scuba suit and all sorts of things like that. Each and every one could be, uh, have a special use. And I think that's going to be pretty cool. Anyway. I have put my hat and trousers on, which both have binding, so that's a fun little update. Um, I now can't take them off again, so that's great. I I'm forever wearing clothes. Perfect. Whoops, I stood on that when I didn't mean to. It's okay. Nothing went wrong. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm a little scared, by the way, using these to store some of my really super duper good gear in that, because, like, they're an entity. If, if for some reason this gets destroyed or whatever, I'm going to have a bad time because I'm going to have lost all these, but... Whatever. Speaking of removing clothes, let's get au naturel and uh, take a look at my farming nature area. So this has been it from the very beginning. It started off with some, some berry bushes and then before you knew it, we had lots of other things as well, including that zombie that is still up there just chilling out. Plenty of cow, plenty of pig and sheep, plenty of wheat and sugar, pump, melon, other plants and trees. It's all here. For the plicking, plicking, for the plucking, for the picking, whatever you want, we've got it. Mm -mm, tasty berries that I oh I'm not oh I'm not hungry enough to eat them yet. I'll save those for later. Um, and what I was thinking of is to try and keep this area alive. Originally, it was just going to be temporary. I was just going to completely um, decimate this once we had everything in place. But you know what? It's become like a home away from home. I mean, I only live right there. But what I'd like to do is um, protect this land. Um, and what other thing is more protective than a ginormous bubble? Um, and you know me, if you've watched me in the past, I love my domes. I love them. Oh, my domes are my favourite thing in the world. And I think today is going to be no different. We are going to create the dome of all domes. The greenhouse of all greenhouses. And we're going to create a massive, great, big, green, bubbly dome right here over everything. Um, the kind of ground is relatively circular. It, it's kind of a little bit squashed. It's a bit of an oval shape. Um, like from here to over here is longer than there to there. So I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we'll go for a, an oval, a, an ellipse, an ellipsis, an ellipsoid or whatever they're called. Um, but either way, to begin this, we are going to need a lot of glass. And you know what? It's so tempting to just grab the sand for that glass just right here, right outside my front door. It could not be closer to just go and grab stuff. But no, we want to keep this. We want to protect it a little bit. We don't want to just be digging loads of sand up because we're going to need a lot, I think, for this dome. So let's get a little bit further away and we'll... Uh... No, no, stop it. This way. Go this way. Oh, but it's right there. Oh, no, we'll find a better desert. Right, here seems like a pretty good spot. All right, so we got all our sand smelting up now, just using some uh, some lava buckets with a little setup here while I'm busy doing some other stuff. I could have used the jump-powered furnace. You're right, I'm not going to, though. Don't fear, don't worry, because I did acquire these lava buckets uh, from my cartwheel-powered la lava farm. So it, it's all good. We, we still did it in a very inefficient, fun way um, to achieve all of this glass. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's no problems at all. <laughs> um, okay, but out here, I've laid out a little bit of framework. So let's go up and take a little bit of a look. We have got our oval shape sort of planned sheep eat. If we run and jump up here, we can kind of see... Oh, look, that blends into the background quite nicely. So uh, we have got a, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 35 blocks long, 35 blocks long. So 71 blocks uh, tall length, what width, breadth by... What have we got here? One, two, three, four, five. So that's 25, 25, 51 other length, breadth, width, height. Um, and then we're going to go up by 15 blocks as well, which is technically a 31 
uh, diameter if we was to go all the way around. Um, and I've just laid that out up here, but we're actually going to be building it on this level. So as you can see, I've begun the very first layer of our ginormous ellipsoid dome thingy. Um, the first quarter, uh, the torches go up here a little bit as well. Um, you can see we've got five blocks of five this side, whereas only four before we hit a mountain. So the, the glass is going to kind of like cut into the side of the mountain a bit, but I think that'll be okay. Um, I think that'll be fine. In fact, I've actually got a fun little idea of something that we could do over there too. Um, over here, it's going to reach quite nicely. Uh, we've got to dig a little bit more out over here too. But uh, yeah, all together, it's going to be it's going to be a pretty nice, pretty nice sized thing. So um, yeah, got to wait for more of that glass to smelt. Ah, and then we can start building the dome. Well, here is what I've managed to accomplish so far. This is a lot of glass. Um, you can't really tell the domey shape from this angle. I mean, you kind of can, a little bit, a bit of a curve going on. Uh, let me get out here and you can kind of see a little bit better from a distance. Um, I'm quite liking it. I'm quite liking the initial measurements. I'm quite happy. I was a bit worried that I'd start building it and it would just look wrong and be... Oh, free flesh! Um, it looked wrong and all out of place, but there we go. Yeah, you can start seeing it's happening. That's how tall it's going to be um, eventually, 15 blocks um, off of the floor. In fact, I think it's going to be one taller than that. I don't know. You can see I went with the regular green glass. Um, I did try lime glass as well, but I think this just gives a nice uh, texture. It doesn't make things look too green looking through it. It still looks fairly clear, but it certainly does um, help to just kind of make everything just look a tiny bit greener. When, when there's white glass or just clear glass or whatever you want to call it, there's too much white involved in it and it kind of it kind of brightens everything up a bit too much whereas this color is perfect it might be a little bit too short for tree growing um 15 blocks you know like a jungle tree is way bigger than that uh why are these look at the tops of these trees have they been chopped off that looks pathetic there's no like there's no log going up to the very top bit how silly only problem i think we're gonna have um is just under here somewhere where is it where's it gone Aha, there we go, found it. I fell. Um, just under here, we actually have some redstone um, for the zombie Plinko machine. So I kind of, well, I kind of missed it quite nicely, actually. Look, there's like two or three blocks in it. What incredible planning. Oh, I am full of, full of the bright ideas today. Um, but actually, yeah, being this close has given me another idea. So I think if we, if we dig down about here... Ah, hang on, let me just make sure I get my bearings. Yeah, bearings acquired. Okay, if we go down about here, and then we I fell into the cave. Okay, I wasn't expecting to fall that way. I was expecting to have to dig that way a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look, so the dome is just up there. The wall would come down to about here. And we have this massive area right from the redstone of that to uh, the very corner of here somewhere. I don't know. I don't know whether I want this to be two-sided or not. But, uh... A little bit of an idea. If I extend the glass wall down, I'll show you what I mean. Cannonball! Oh yeah, baby. This is the stuff. We have swimming. We've got our own pool. Oh, now it's really like the back cave. Well, it's kind of not really a pool. It's more of a pond. But you know what I mean? You, If you could swim in the... Oh, I'm drowning now. Oh, no. Oh, how do I swim up? Help! <laughs> Help! <laughs> oh, there was a sticky patch down there. Ah, oh, okay, right. Sorry about that. So yes, I have got myself a whole aquarium wall edge thing, and I want to do it all the way along this wall. Not just this little section from here to over there. I want to completely expand this out across the whole thing, and uh, yeah, put loads of fishies and other aquatic life in there as well. Um, and the beauty of it is, hang on, switch over to my normal face. Perfect. Uh, we can actually uh, see it from the top as well. So inside of our dome... Ba boom you can see I've added a bit of a wet patch um, all the way along the edge and I want to kind of extend it um, more that way four or five blocks that way four or five blocks this way as well um, I might not go any deeper but yeah basically our lovely jungly naturey dome here can have a beautiful lovely lazy river thing going on and you know what oh I just keep doing things accidentally and seeing other beautiful things if we extended this along like so Look, isn't that beautiful? We've got our own water feature now as well. Uh, except the fish. The fish. The, it'll be like a water park for fish. They'll be like, flow across there, go down. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we'll make a way for them to get back up again. It'll just be like a roller coaster for fish. It'll be quite fun. Maybe they'll enjoy it. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's a pretty cool idea as well. I'm loving how my process of uh, making this thing is going. I literally 
have, uh, I mean, I've made a bit of a mess if you just if you just pan around now, but I am just keep stumbling into problems and coming up with new ideas to not only fix those problems, but to, to use them to embrace the problems. So just remember this. In life, if you have a problem, don't fix it like a fool. Love it like a baby. Anyway, it seems like I've got a lot to do between now and next episode to get the dome finished and get some other things spick and span, so I will do my best. But until then, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Pacha! If you did, remember you can leave a like, you can comment, you can subscribe as well. All very, very much appreciated. And of course, a massive thank you to my wonderful patrons as well, whose names are all over the screen. Right now, each and every one of these people have helped to make this episode possible by supporting me, supporting the channel. Thank you all very much. I love you all. But until next time, a good, a bye.